Hello everybody and welcome to my Thresh tutorial. This is going to be a series of videos in which I help players learn how to play different champions. First we're going to take a look at the kind of runes you're going to want to run. You're going to go flat armor reds and quints and then magic per level blues and health per level yellows. This is a strong page overall, um, but there are some variations. You could choose to replace your magic per level, which is flats, and your health per level with flat HP. It's really ultimately up to you and the lane that you're going against. Alright, next we're going to talk about masteries. This is the page I usually go with. It gives you a lot of the utility and everything you really need from it, the biscuits and the uh, extra gold. And then from the defense tree, you get the health as well as the bonus armor. Usually what I would do is if I'm going some more AP team, you'll maybe switch out the armor for magic resist, but typically this is how you want to set up your masteries. So for Thresh, his hook is really his bread and butter. That's going to that's gonna be the ability that really makes all the plays for you. You're going to be grabbing enemies, saving your teammates, fishing, doing whatever. Next you have your flay. Flay can be a little tricky. Um, you can either pull or push people, and it goes in the direction of where you have your mouse. It's a pretty cool ability. It can even be used to like block some abilities such as Lee Sin's Q, um, LeBlanc's Dash, as well as like Leona's Zenith Blade. Thresh's hook can be a little weird to use at first, the reason being is that there's a windup when you first cast it. This windup can be both a good and a bad thing. Uh, sometimes people will try and predict your hook and they'll actually just run right into it, but other times they'll just dash on out. And it's not really something to be discouraged about, you're not going to hit every single hook. However, there is something that you can do to help you with landing your hooks. Sometimes there's only one way that a person will go. Like, if you're in front of them, more often than not, they're not going to try and run right into you. And sometimes you can kind of force people into these situations where they can only go in one direction. So if you throw your hook there, you're bound to hit them. Another thing, your hook has more than just the purpose of fishing people in and kill getting kills. You can also use it as an escaping device. Like in this clip, I use my hook to grab blue buff so I can pull myself to safety. You can do this on basically any camp. That includes Dragon and Baron. Never forget how important that lantern is. You can use it just to pick up some easy assists like I do right here. All you do is just throw it on, boom, free extra 100 gold. Use it to save your teammates. I'm sure at some point or another you'll find yourself being pinned up against the tower. You'll be taking lots of poke, but this is actually an excellent spot for Thresh. What you can do is if you land a hook, you'll basically be sure to burn a flash or get a kill, especially in these early levels. Well, now that we've gone over some basic things about Thresh, it's time to figure out what exactly he does inside of a team fight. In these next couple of clips, I'm going to show you some of the things that you can be doing while in a team fight, and basically how you can help your team in any way possible. So first off, and most important probably, an AD carry is peeling for your AD carry. That means hooking, flaying, throwing lanterns, whatever you can do to keep people off of him and keep him doing as much damage as possible. Next, it's going to be your job to try and get anyone that's out of position. In this clip, we watch Alistar engage and are easily able to get the hook off. Another thing, since you're playing Thresh, it automatically means that you're never out of position, so that means that the enemy team can blow every single ability on you, making it nice and safe for your team to fight. Well, that's everything for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Feel free to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave any constructive criticism or anything. I'm always looking for feedback. I want to do everything I can to make this channel as good as it can be. Until the next video, everyone. I'm going to leave you guys with a little video and basically what it means to be Thresh. Take every kill you can. Cause you the real MVP.